Buenos Aires with your girl <clears throat> and say, hey, honey, you know what? I want to learn how to tango. I dance like a white guy and I want to learn how to tango. I'm going to pick up. I'm going to move to the middle of Buenos Aires and I'm going to spend three months learning tango. If you did that, what would happen to your current monthly income? Well, you know, I think I don't even know what the time zone chain changes out there. Not much. Uh, it's actually shocking. Like not yeah, it's a, an hour or two depending on the time of the year. Okay, so we'll get into the call later. But you know, I was in Brazil, and the time zone was maybe two hours or something like that. So, I mean, I do my business on the internet through email, uh, through Skype. And uh, and that's all you need, you know. Uh, it's not that it's going to drop dramatically. All of my my sales and profits and everything, or even business, is done virtual. So it's done on the internet. It's done through Skype, which we're talking on now, which is free, Skype to Skype. Uh, so there's no cost in that. There's no long distance phone calls. Um, everything is web based. All I need is an internet connection. So, you know, it, it's kind of. Okay, thanks. Well, we'll get to the episode. It's pretty cool. Uh, the whole Brazil, the whole. Brazil. Um, but you know, I think it, it it really won't suffer. You know, I'm doing my business online now. I mean, I work out of Starbucks and I work out of my house, and uh, you know, probably going to get an office soon. But the question comes in is like, man, do I really need that stuff, uh, or do I really need an office? Um, because literally, I mean, you know, I talk to Alex, like, hey, babe, you know, we can or a um and work off the internet. So it's not like it's going to change at all because I'm already doing it. It's not like I need to physically be somewhere for business to get done, sales to happen. Give me a phone, give me an internet connection, and give me an email, And regardless of where I'm at. Where I'm at. So l let's talk a little bit more about that. So I understand that you took a trip to Brazil, speaking of, and while you were there for about a month, you worked maybe five hours put together a total of $13,000 while you were gone. But I'm sure before you took that trip that there was some fear and anxiety like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? I'm in Brazil, I'm here for a month, am I gonna make money? But the reality was that you actually wound up making a bunch of money. So, you know, talk to me a little bit about some of the fears that you had before you left and, you know, what you learned from that experience of being able to sort of disappear for five weeks and really only work a few hours. Yeah. Prior to going to that, you know, it was really kind of the first experiment in my business. And going to Brazil, um, actually my, uh, my, well, uh, girlfriend at the time. We went to Brazil, and she's actually from Brazil. And uh, so, you know, we planned this whole 35 day trip. And it, uh, yeah, I was scared. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? How am I going to, you know, answer customer support? And, you know, how am I going to do this and respond to email? Because, you know, we're all addicted to email. I'm addicted to email. You know, how am I, I need to, I need to be at my computer at all times. So it was really just a great experiment in, getting away from that, you know, unplugging and, and realizing that, you know, the things that you think are really important, checking your email five, six times a day, you know, when you look at it four days later and realize 90% of it is just junk anyways, and maybe two or three are actually something of importance, you really get an understanding of how you can step away from the, and, and control your life and not let, you know, the, the internet take over. So, I mean, some of the fears were that, you know, how am I going to manage the business? How am I going to stay on top of stuff? You know, the uh, it's, it's kind of funny how it all just kind of played out. So prior to that, I kind of set up uh, some automated things, automated campaigns through uh, my email autoresponder, you know, and really just set things up. So it's like, all right, I'm not going to be able to check my email for seven days. Let me, let me you know, set up some uh, to go out automatically so I don't have to be there, right? So I don't have to check the email. It's just, you know, check the sales reports and, say, and, and see how many sales I got. But it's all going out on autopilot without me actually being there. So, so it, it looks like you've got multiple online businesses that are generating the cash for you to fund this really incredible lifestyle that you live in. And we're going to go a bit more in depth about how you create the automated income to travel 
in the second half of our interview, the excursion uh, for the Jet Set Money members, and all the Jet Set Money members will be able to get inside uh, our membership. If you're not a member, you could just go to getjetsetmoney.com. But Chris, before we move over to the members area, if people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way for them to do it? Yeah, they can go to my site, chrisbrisson.com, C-H-R-I-S-B-R-I-S-S-O-N. That's, uh, that's my main blog. Okay, and by the way, I apologize for calling you Brisson. It's the American in me. It sounds like it's French. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you Don't gotta, worry, Ever, everyone you got, gets it. You got to uh, have that Brisson. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> everyone okay. uh, says it some way, uh, shape, or other, so it's okay. okay. I heard it. That's it for this episode of the Lifestyle Design Confessions podcast. Remember, if you want to get a jump start on creating the income to live your jet set life using our proven system, you can claim your risk-free trial membership to Jet Set Money by going to getjetsetmoney.com. And remember, excuses are over. It's time to live. Hey, hey, hey.